Imams demand that wives must accept invitations to bed sparks outrage. A Turkish mufti or religious uh, Muslim religious scholar has sparked controversy among Turkish Cypriots uh, after suggesting that women should fulfill their duty to their husbands by accepting their invitation to bed, believing that his statement is a sign of imported encroachment of fundamentalist Islam in their secular community in Cyprus. Ahmet Unsal, the head of the Turkish Cypriot Department of Religious Affairs appointed by Turkey, reportedly stated during a lecture about marriage obligations that women should marry without hesitation and bear children because matrimony, quote, isn't about having fun. Unsal also urged women to avoid other men except their husbands to, quote, protect their virtue and safeguard the properties of their husbands. He also said that men should pay for their wives' necessity, add, necessities, adding that Allah detests divorce. The Turkish Cypriot community did not receive Unsal's message well, and hundreds of demonstrators, 46 trade unions, and even politicians took to the street to protest against Unsal's statements. Dulgas Derya, a well-known female lawmaker, joined the protests and told, told Unsal that they don't live in a theocratic regime similar to Afghanistan or Iran. She criticized him for, quote, presenting his fantasies about subjugating women as the word of Allah and argued that religious laws have no place in a secular community. Yeah, wow. Turkey, Turkey is good. Is doesn't miss you know people don't know the the new generation in turkey is pretty secular they're like there's a lot of anti-religious views in in turkey and it's growing okay don't look at the politics in turkey you know demographic wise we're going turkey is going in the right direction and i am very optimistic about the uh, turkey's future when it comes to religion and secularism right so well i yeah, have one correction to make so technically this didn't happen in turkey this happened in cyprus you know and cyprus oh. is being contested yes. greek over and greece turkey. and turkey so this happened yeah. in the, the turkish turkish part, cyprus. Of, part of cyprus okay yeah never mind. and that's Tur actually what makes this interesting because mm -hmm. what i was reading in the, in the reports is that the turkish cypriot cypriot community is like mm -hmm you are trying to import some bs from turkey that we are not buying like this is some erdogan bs and we are like we are not taking it we are firmly secular like this does not represent our values because this is a guy in the government who's appointed by the turkish government saying these things and he's like this islamic fundamentalism like is not going to fly in our community and there were protests of like hundreds of people that came out against that like i was very surprised by this. Well, I mean, if you're going against these, are these Muslims who are protesting against this? Because this guy is uh, bright. I mean, I could. Do you want me, Susanna? Do you want me to bring you hadith that and supports this? Ormond, that was his defense. He's saying, mm. "I'm just saying, what is yeah. you know, this is in line with the scripture. This is in line with our tradition. Like this is what it is." And that was that was exactly his defense. Do you want me to show Islamic hadith? that supports this guy's claim i mean if you have them at the ready why not i do i do right boom <laughs> i <laughs> boom i just i just have had these i just have had these right in my back like, boom here there <laughs> like I, you know i'm ready for stuff like this right I just, <laughs> okay I just, let's get into I, it i just had to you know what i googled i just googled Sunnah Hadith Angels Curse. The first thing that showed up was the Hadith that I was looking for. You know, here, actually, look. Like, Sunnah Hadith Angel Curse. It does come you up. Know, that exact, it brought up the exact Hadith that I, this was, I knew exactly what to search for to bring up the Hadith that I was looking for. It was the first result on Google, right? So, by the way, this is, if you want to see the, the you know, the, the, it's Sahih Muslim. So this is authentic hadith. This is the second only to the Quran when it comes to source of Islamic scripture. Oh, Susanna just got disconnected, but it's fine. We'll wait for her while I read this for you. Oh, Susanna came with my... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but you got you have my avatar. How dare you? 
I accidentally like go. kicked myself out of the studio. <laughs> Sorry, continue. How does one do that? Okay, I here. don't know. Okay. okay, stay there now because this is you're you're messing with my hadith reading. Okay, all right. So this is Islamic hadith. It says, um, when a man invites his wife to his bed and she does not come, and the husband spends this, uh, oh, spends the sight being angry with her the angels curse her until morning wait susie why are you turning off your camera i wanted your reaction for this i wanted your reaction for reading this horrible horrible hadith when you're gone guys can you guys give me some what do you guys think of this hadith it says basically what it's saying that if a, if a husband wants sex and the woman's like no you get cursed all till the morning by angels the, the angels be cursing you till morning if you are if you deny sex to your husband so that's the hadith that i have susie are you there okay angel curses yeah it's just angels. sorry curses. i really had to pee <laughs> oh okay <laughs> Yeah, no, yes. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm very familiar with this hadith. Oh, you're familiar with this hadith. I was in shock. Oh, yeah, no, I've heard this one before. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's just angel curses coming down upon you for the night. Angels will curse you all through the night till the morning because you said because your your husband wanted to have sex with you and deni you denied him. So, okay, yeah. but what if, what are the actual consequences of an angel curse? Like, what does that mean? Do you I don't know, but I can't. Five years I, of bad luck? It, Do you get your health gets messed up? Like, what actually is an angel curse? I want more. I want more details. It doesn't provide those details, but you can, but 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 it's not good. It can't be good. I mean, I don't think it would be have any positive effect. I would think like angels cursing you an entire night would probably. I mean, if Islam was true would probably have some side effects. <laughs> I don't know if the side effects would be in this world or the after, but it can be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, wait. A secular radio saying, oh, LOL, imagine a bunch of angels looking down on a woman going, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good. gosh. Guys, this is, guys, hear the references if you don't believe me, okay? This is Islamic. This is an and this is not a like an atheist anti-Islamic site. This is Sunnah.com. This is my and if you don't believe that, you could go get the book Sahih Muslim and you could pick up the book and you could see that this hadith is there. Okay, this hadith is there. Okay, this is Islamic and it's Sahih. Sahih means authentic. That means the chains of narration have not been broken. Okay. That means that every single one of the people in this chain of narration is a trusted source, and this makes this authentic Islamic scripture. Okay, there you go. If you want to, yeah, I'm not going to go into more detail about why you can't ignore this because it would get too. <laughs> well, I thought it was really cool to see that this got such big pushback. Um, yes. Yeah, like that. I, I don't know. I think it's a very positive sign that people are like, no, get this fundamentalist BS like out of here. This doesn't represent us and our community. Um, D is saying angels are gone by morning, so you compare for work as usual. <laughs> well, it's not Dave, it's Hahi. Okay. I don't know. That's too much Islamic knowledge here. Um, wait. Sasa is saying, only in Islam do you get such nonsense. Most religions have moved on from such things. That is Where? not true. No, that's Where? Not true. no, 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 you, you didn't, no, 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 Okay? Wait, it's not the religions. First of all, this you could find nonsense like this in other religions like this. And it's not the religions that move on from these things. It's religious people who move away. The religions stay nonsensical, Okay? The religious people move away from their religion. The, the, the religion is still like that. It still be like that. Because if you're saying, if you want to compare the religious people, a lot of Muslims also have moved away from this, such things. Like how many, do you know, here, here for example, Sasan, do you know how many Muslims know about the hadith that I just showed you? 
Do you know oh. what a tiny, tiny, tiny fractions of Muslims are aware of this Islamic hadith? It's less than 1% of 1%. That's how little. There's less than that. Okay, so yeah, Muslims, you know, the whole world is moving away from religion. Thank you, Iblis. All right. Thank you, Iblis. Thank you, Iblis. All right, can we... Oh, wait, this um, is a good quick question. Are there counter curses in the Quran or Hadiths? No, because, okay, so unlike your weird, bizarro Eastern religions, okay, <laughs> Gage and American, okay, you don't... Curses are not something available to humans to just use, okay? Curses are something, if you do that, it's magic and it's haram and your punishment would be one strike of a sword, okay? So you do not do curses, okay? Curses happen to you or blessings happen to you because it's a lost wish. People don't go around and just like do curses, okay? That is that is sorcery and it's haram in Islam. So yeah, no. Okay. Um can we can we can we <laughs> Yeah, the the prophet says, okay? As the prophet says, uh, I sound like a mufti right now, that the punishment for sorcery in Islam is one strike of a sword. Okay? If that strike of a sword kills you, then your punishment is death. But if you survive it, then we have to let you heal. YouTube, I'm not saying this, by the way, I'm not, I'm just, I, I don't believe in striking anybody with swords, YouTube. I'm not advocating for violence. We're anti-violence in this channel, okay? I'm just explaining uh, the Islamic scripture. The secular right. rarity knows me so well. He's saying, Armin says, weird, bizarro Asian religions, and Susanna thinks, this is why we don't grow. <laughs> <laughs> you can, like, see it in my brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Engage in American, his retort is at least we have counter curses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we clap for it's the next It's hard thing? because there's part of me that's like laughing really hard at you. And then there's the other part of me that has my CEO brain on. Mm. It's a but constant. The laughing part, I don't know, but, but the laughing part is stronger, I think. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.